Good morning. This is our daily devotion for Monday, the 7th of September, 2020. I have been thinking um, and reading about um, when God made the earth in Genesis. It talks about what he made every day and that when he saw what he had made, he saw that it was good. And it talks about making all the wild animals and the domestic animals and the fish and then he made man in his own image and then it goes on obviously to talk about making Eve and about the Garden of Eden but what I want to think about today is when God had made the earth and everything that was in it and he looked and saw that it was good when I was 50, I was given the birthday present of a trip in a hot air balloon. Now, I had a bucket list long before anybody, or before I even knew what a bucket list was. And probably a lot of people don't know what a bucket list is to this day. But a bucket list is something that you make a list of all the things that you want to see before you kick the bucket. And I've got a number of those um, and I've achieved quite a number of them as well. And one of my special ones was to go up in an hot air balloon. So when I was given that opportunity as a birthday present, I was absolutely thrilled. And it was to go over the Yorkshire Dales, which again um, is a, a lovely part of the world. I went there that morning and it was a lovely day. I was a lot sprightlier than I am now. And um, I happily climbed into the basket and we went up into the air uh, for thousands of feet. I can't quite remember how many thousand feet it was, but it was very, very high. And I'm sure those of you who've seen the hot air balloons in the sky, you would just know that sometimes they look like the size of a tennis ball well, on ground, they look absolutely enormous. Anyway, as we carried on, um, we were going over the fields and the towns and the villages, and everything was beautiful, but looked in, like it, it was in miniature. Though, I don't quite know how this works, but the animals in the fields, we could hear the sheep buying, and the cattle... Um, you know, just mooing. And I thought, is this how God saw his earth after he had made it? This beautiful scene laid out below him. And when I thought about that, I thought, how have we come to this position in our world? when many people are bent on destroying it. Whether it's by wars or for deforestation of the forests where people are living in and they're losing their homes and everything because of this constant wish to get wood and you know, God made this beautiful earth for all of us to share. Not just for people like ourselves who um, have houses like we have, but these indigenous people that live in the rainforests and they are, the, they are losing their homes because they've, their livelihood and their habitat has been destroyed and you know God is such an amazing God and he gave us this all our world and I know while it's happening recently we haven't been able to go anywhere because of coronavirus and those of us who have taken the step to go abroad recently many of them are having to go into isolation when they come back 
I just think we have this whole wonderful world, such diverse people, diverse animals, diverse plants and trees. And it makes me think even more just how much we should look after it because it was made by our God. The God that made heaven and earth and everything that is in and on it. And I just want to say to you this morning, let's all do our own little bit to preserve this earth that God has made. I know that while the COVID has been going on and we were in lockdown, we saw how much the uh, pollution had been reduced. And I just think that because of that, perhaps you should, we should think more about where we can walk to the shops and not use our car. And I have to say, I'm a prime person that gets in the car at every opportunity. But I just think that, should we do this? Shouldn't we try and walk a bit more? Should we try and buy food locally rather than buying food that's been flown from thousands of miles? And even if we can only do one tiny bit to make God's world a better place, let's all do it. I hope each and every one of us can try. And now, shall we pray? Heavenly Father, as we look around at the beautiful land you have made, when we are by the sea and we can see the waves and the coastline, and we can just, just see the beauty in everything and I know that then we look on the TV at the war-torn places where there's so much destruction and I know that your heart must break that your people the people that you made are being destroyed and not have their lives or their homes left anymore, mainly because of people in their own country. So I pray this morning, Lord, that you will bless each and every person that has lost their home through conflict. The ones that have had to flee to other countries to try and find a land that will give them care and sustenance. I think of the people who come over the channel in those little boats to try and find a new life here in our country. And we may not like it, Lord, but we have a duty to care and to love these people because they are your children too. So I ask, Lord, that you bless all your children and create peace in this land and over the world, wherever there is conflict. And I ask these prayers in the name of Jesus, our Lord and our Saviour. Amen. Well, thank you for listening this morning. And I will see you next Monday. Bye.